Well, hello guys, Pilot Steve again with the Lance Air Legacy. As you can see, it's still in the shop, still being worked on. Eventually we'll get it, we'll have it done. Let me show you where we are. The engine got pulled, it's back in, and uh, it's really starting to look good. Uh, I think that's probably the best thing we did is just decide to put a halt to everything and fix everything on this airplane. It, uh, it really was in bad shape, which is kind of disappointing and kind of scary when you think about it that somebody's flying around like this. I mean, it had a lot of problems, a lot of amateur built stuff that just wasn't right. And uh, we've spent the time now to, to get it right. Got the new starter adapter on, it's ready to go. Shouldn't be leaking anymore. You can see how neat and tidy everything is now. And uh, let me show you, when we pulled the engine and got, got deep into it, we just didn't like the looks of the exhaust and the turbos. So we went ahead and had that all redone. Let me show you what that looks like. Really did a nice job on them. Here's the turbo completely rebuilt, one of them, one side. You can see how, what kind of work they do. Looks brand new. It's all cleaned up, all the bearings redone and it's in great shape and then uh that's the other turbo and you can see the exhaust here this is actually the cold side and it had a nice giant hole in it that we didn't see we had all that redone and uh it was rubbing so we're going to get it back on there so that doesn't happen again yeah, but you can see it's, uh, it's in great shape now and i don't know how much boost they were losing with that hole there, but had to affect engine performance somewhat. That's all done. So just waiting on a few clamps and rings and things to get it all finished up. Still think it's gonna be another couple weeks before we get everything in it and get it tested again, but I'm real happy with it now. It's, uh, like I said, I'm glad I didn't fly it a lot the way it was gears all ready to go again and uh, now it's just a matter of deciding what I want to do interior wise but um, we'll, uh, we'll get it test run again get it all set back up they got all the interior back in it and um, see what what I gotta do, got the ELT back. Everything's everything's pretty much ready to go now. So it's just a matter of uh, getting the thing running right, no leaks, everything perfect. Get it washed up and prettied up, and get it in there. So I uh, just wanted to do a quick update. So you know where I'm at. I hadn't forgot you guys. I'm wanting to get this thing flying. It's been about 10 weeks now since I put it in the shop and um, it just shows you when you buy one of these things especially an amateur built you really don't know what you got till you get in there so um, you can inspect them all day long and you can look at them before you buy them but till you get your hands on it um, be prepared and, and I was I, you know price wise I, I bought it with enough room where I could spend the money to do what I needed to do to it. I'm still real happy with it. And uh, I know when I get done with it, it'll be a perfect airplane. I'll enjoy it. So yeah, it's Pilot Steve signing off. See you in the next video.